Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve assessment problem 4.11 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is, use the mass current method to find the mass current IA in the circuit shown. Okay, we are given this loop is IA. Maybe let's draw another loop. Okay, we have a current source here. So maybe let's just follow the direction of that current source. So we can get this loop here exactly the same as this current, which is 10 ampere. And we also get this one here, a current source. Let's follow the direction of that current source for our loop. Therefore, this the magnitude of the current of our loop here will be the same as this one which is 2 V5 divided by 5 okay but first let's take a note first what is V5 okay maybe let's take a note here V5 if we take a look from this circuit here is equal to ia minus this current here so we will have ia minus that current so i will have ia minus 2v5 divided by 5 multiplied by the resistance which is 5 okay now let's distribute distribute the 5 so we'll have v5 is equal to 5ia minus 2v5 and then we will have 3 v5 is equal to 5 i a or we can rewrite that rewrite this as v5 is equal to 5 over 3 i a okay maybe let's save this as equation number one and let's do a mesh analysis here let's do kvl at i a Let's do KVL at IA. KVL at IA. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, here we have 75 volt, but the current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. So we will have negative sign here, minus 75. And then plus this 2 ohm here, but we need voltage so we multiply it by ia but here 10 ampere is flowing to the same direction so we will have plus 10 added here and then we have the voltage here voltage across this 5 ohm resistor is v5 we can just use that so we'll have plus v5 all of that will equal to zero Okay, now let's distribute this to here. So we'll have minus 75 plus 2IA plus 20 plus V5. But V5 is 5 over 3IA. 5 over 3IA. And that will equal to 0. Minus 75 plus 20 is minus 55. And let's put that in the right hand side. But 2 plus 5 over 3. 2 is 6 over 3. So we will have 11 divided by 3 IA. 11 over 3 multiplied by IA. And so we will have our IA here. Which is 55 multiplied by 3 divided by 11. So 11 and 55 will cancel into 5. 5 multiplied by 3, that will be 15. 15 ampere. And so, we will have IA is equal to 15 ampere. Which is exactly the same as the answer given by the book. Therefore, our answer is correct. And I think that's all for this problem. A simple problem with simple solution. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.